Hello and welcome to the Easy Solution Systems tutorial videos. I'm Jesse Brown and today we'll be going through lay buyers in Retail Man. To enable the lay buyer, we go to Maintenance, System Setup, Point of Sale, and here you can see there is an option Allow Lay Buyer Sales. We check this one and then save it. We will go to the point of sale screen. To start a lay buyer, we need to have the client name on file. In this field, we enter the client name, phone number, mobile, or client code. So we will enter the client's code here. In the drop down box on the left, we need to choose lay buyer. Let's say we buy one large coffee and he can't afford it right now. He can part pay. So we go to the pay button. Let's say they can only pay 99 cents for it. We choose print, assuming you have a printer all set up. So now when you see the receipt, the output will be showing the lay-by number, which is 200. The lay-by date and the item which is on lay-by. And here you can see the cash paid on that date. The item will still be on stock. So the stock number will still be the same. The client will need to come back another time and pay the rest later in order to receive the item. We'll do another payment on the same lay by. If we choose lay by again from the drop down box and press F7, it will give you all the outstanding lay buys. Let's re enter the client code to bring up the client again. We press F7 while the client has been put into the system, and this will show us all the lay buys for this client, which is still outstanding. Let's choose number 50, we'll pay $200 and print now. Here on the site, the original lay buy was done on the 23rd. They then paid cash, check and two more cash payments. This way you can see all the transactions that were made on the item. This can be done over weeks or months if you'd like until the payment is finished. The item will not be removed from the stock data until the whole thing has been paid for. Again, make sure we have lay by selected. Press the F7 again. We'll choose number 50. Let's say we pay it all on check. Once you either pay or print it, the system will take that item out of the stock count where you can exchange the item to the client. Notice here that once the final payment has been made, it has been changed from lay by number 50 to invoice number 50. The lay buyer is an invoice, but with a flag on it, which says it's a lay buyer, but once it has been paid, it becomes an invoice. It will show all of the past payments throughout the whole lay buy transaction. Once the payment is settled, it is then a normal receipt. If we go back to see the lay buyers for this client, there are no longer three lay buyer payments, but two, as it was successfully paid for. I hope this video has been helpful, and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.